coronavirus and Governor Asa Hutchison mentioned it today and we're seeing it across the country. Millions are missing appointments for their second vaccine dose. The numbers running around 8% right now, some 5 million people foregoing that dose of Pfizer or Moderna. Adriana Diaz reports on the push to sell those second shots. 39 year old Danielle Lee is an occupational therapist living in Southern California with her family. At first, she wasn't sure if she'd get the COVID vaccine at all because she says she's had adverse reactions to vaccines in the past. How did you decide to finally get that first dose when you had your reservations? It was almost like a, I guess maybe an emotional decision. I think it was a combination of, you know, I, People, people, maybe a little bit peer pressure as well, like you see other people doing it. She only had mild symptoms after her first Pfizer dose, but she's not sure she'll get her second. She's frustrated after learning she may need a booster and annual shot and is still worried about side effects. To be honest, I'm more worried about bad reactions really? to the second dose. She's not alone. According to a report in the New York Times, the reason people are skipping second shots include issues with second dose appointments, people already feeling protected with just one shot, or if they felt sick after the first dose. Side effects that last for weeks or months after a vaccine are probably not due to the vaccine. You need to see the doctor and make sure there's not something else going on. What can cause lingering ongoing problems for many, many months is COVID. Dr. Emily Landon is an infectious disease specialist at the University of Chicago Medicine. In the way that the vaccine is supposed to work is the first shot is sort of like your body being told, here's a picture of um, a spike protein. This is what you're looking for and you need to take care of it if you see it. And oftentimes our bodies react the same way that we react and they say, okay, got it. Sounds good. But then the second shot is like a practice run. It's uh, sort of tricks your body and says, here's that spike protein again, and your body jumps into action and it does everything that it needs to do to fight off that spike protein. And that creates that big boost in antibodies that last longer. What risk is someone taking by possibly not getting the second dose? Not getting your second shot means you're kind of giving up on your immunity and you may be at risk for COVID as soon as a few months after that first vaccine. Dr. Landon couldn't have reiterated more strongly that the risk from COVID far outweighs any risk from a rare side effect from a vaccine. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Chicago.